Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unload and load filament on 3D printers. More specifically, an Ender 3 and a Prusa Mini. One is more automated and one is more manual. And also, because this is more of a beginner style tutorial, it will be less edited than my typical video. So without any further ado, let's get straight into showing you how to do it on the Ender 3. Okay, so the first thing that we will need to do is to make sure that the Ender 3 is actually heated up. To prepare it, you can just go down to prepare it preheat PLA, and with it, you hit the button, and it will automatically go to 180, make the loud fan noise, and heat the bed up to 45, which isn't necessarily needed. You could also go to control, then temperature, and then hit heat the nozzle up that way, if you would prefer. And I would say for PLA, because that's what we're gonna be t using in this demo, it heated up anywhere from 185 to 215 should be good. We are going to move this up so that you can see it. Okay, so now that we have the filament, you can see that it's stored right here. I'd recommend keeping it in the holes so that it doesn't get tangled when you're just storing it. But otherwise, if you could take the thing, you can cut it at like a 45 degree angle, or at least try to. And by doing that, it will go in here a lot easier. You literally just find the hole, and you push it in the hole. And oftentimes, if the filament's bent a little bit, you can try bending it backward a little bit to straighten it out so that it will go in the Ender 3 Bowden tube easier. And once it goes in, like this, you can just constantly push it through, and eventually, you'll see that it starts to come out the nozzle. Like that. And you can push it in until it gets the color out, changed, and then you're good to go. So loading the filament is pretty straightforward to unload it. If you would like, you can push it forward a little bit so that it clears out the little bit of the excess, and then you can pull it out so that it's easier and less likely to get a clog. You can see right here, this is where I typically get a clog, but since how we did that, we've now unloaded the filament on the Ender 3. Then I'd recommend storing the filament back onto the hole, and your filament should be good. Just try to keep it at least a little bit of tension so that it doesn't get wound up. Prusa Mini time! Da 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 da! So, for the Prusa Mini, I would also recommend, again, clipping this at a 45 degree angle. This tends to make it go in easier, and then we can turn on the printer. Okay, so now that we have the printer actually plugged in, we can turn it on. And once it's on, you'll see that it's actually way easier to load than the Ender 3 was. Literally, all we have to do is hit load filament, select what type of filament you would like. In this case, it's gonna be PLA. Then, since we've already cut the 45 degree angle, we can take the filament and push it in here. Then once it's there, we can hit continue. It inserts it, and once it's done heating up, it will do all of it for us. It's way simple, much easier than the Ender 3, for example. Sure, it does take a little bit because it has to heat up, but that's the same as the Ender 3. Okay, it should be there, and yeah. See, it is doing it for us. And you can see that the last film I had was green, 
and it's already getting pushed out. Quite simple. And then if the color is not quite correct, then you can hit no or retry if it didn't work at all. But in this case, it worked, so we can hit yes. To unload the filament, it's practically the same process. All we need to do is hit unload filament, and boom. It doesn't do a perfect job with the unwinding, so you need to be a little bit careful uh, when winding it back up so that you don't get any tangles, but aside from that, you should be good. So then you could take the filament, I'd recommend tightening it a little bit, and then rolling it back. And the hole is right here, so that's where I'm going to put it back in. And there we go. Filament is unloaded on the Prusa Mini. Okay, so this here is flexible filament. And one tip that I would recommend is if you decide you're going to print with this, you'll see that if I go here on the menu of filament, hit load filament, you can see that flex is, where is it? Ah, here it is at the bottom. And the temperature is 240. That is very important because you can see that it ha requires a way hotter temperature. When you load this in, I would recommend definitely using flex, but then when you unload it, it will also be the same temperature. But the thing that I would definitely recommend remembering is when you load the next filament that you want, so say PLA, still click flex because if you hit flex, to load it in, it will also purge out the rest of the flex because otherwise you may find that it's clogging your nozzle because there is still leftover flexible filament in there that's not melting when the PLA temperature is coming out, which could mess up your prints. That's one thing that I've definitely noticed. Another thing is not necessarily relating to loading and unloading filament, but at the same time it kind of is, is to swap out your bed. If you're using flexible filament, do not use the smooth PEI sheet that Prusa has. Use their textured one, otherwise it will destroy your bed. And in fact, I think it's, yeah, it's this one. You can see that this one is actually destroyed, and that was because of a flexible filament print that was printed on here when I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, kind of sucks. So don't do that and learn from my mistakes. Aside from that, that's how you unload and change filaments on a 3D printer. Depending on the printer, it should be a similar process, it may be slightly different, but overall it's pretty straightforward.